process is the approach to the uh, aqueduct that goes over the Manchester Ship Canal. Down there is the Manchester ship now. by the traffic centre, Manchester. 200 yards and you're inside. Well, it's very opulent. I've never been here before, so it's all new to me. Everybody will be saying, have you seen that before? Well, no, I haven't. That's brilliant, they've got a piano that the public can play. Her indoors is happy. And it's got a Chinatown as well. Well, if you've never been to the traffic centre in Manchester, it's just... Um, well, I'm lost for words. And that's, that's done in the style of an ocean liner cruise ship. So this is in New Orleans quarter.
with a weather spoon. Link straddles the uh, dual carriageway that links the uh, principal shopping area to the plaza. They're real marble, these statues, but also. Real marble floor, opulence for a poor old country boy like me. I just find this amazing. Well, we spent a pleasant evening on the Bridgewater Canal just couple of miles short of the Preston Book Tunnel. The rain closed in with a vengeance yesterday afternoon so I stopped. So the first thing we've got to do today is go through the Preston Brook Tunnel which has got some bends in it so it's not the easiest of tunnels to do and as I've said before they're not my favourite occupation. Hey ho, it's got to be done. So the end of the Bridgewater Canal through the Preston Brook Tunnel, 1272 yards. Entry going south is on the half hour for 10 minutes only. Following completion of extensive repair work, this tunnel was reopened by Sir Frank Price DL, Chairman of the British Waterways Board, in 17th of April 1984. So it's been reopened for 50 odd years already. It's got kinks in it, got to go round bends. Well, bye bye Bridgewater Canal. It's been nice knowing you. I 
Let's come on now. Nothing behind me. It's only about six inch rise on it. It's a toll, toll lot. I remember. Thanks ever so much. Are you going to walk for a while or are you getting on? Okay. Well, it's a little rural boat yard here with a dry dock immediately at the tunnel's entrance, really. It's a fabulous old boat they've got in that dry dock, look at that. And this is an interesting one too with the, uh, the tall chimney on it. No way is that going through any tunnels. Wild garlic. There's absolutely shit loads of wild garlic growing around here. Loads and loads of it. So back onto the uh, Trenton Mersey Canal now. Down to um, uh, Middlewich, where we hang a right. On the uh, Shropshire Union, the direction of Langholland Canal. I don't think I've ever seen as much wild garlic growing as, as there is there. Thanks, Em. See ya. You want some beer? Garlic for tea tonight then. Of it. 
smell it. Yeah, yeah. you can smell it. Canal side of the garden there. Lots of tight bends on this. Yeah, it is. Bridge 212 looks like it's uh, seen better days. Hamilton's new, new car. What's the time now? It's 20 to 1. 20 to 1. Salterford Tunnel, southbound, on the half hour to 10 minutes to the hour. That's right, we can go. Second tunnel of the day, the Salterford Tunnel. Tunnel length. Twelve hundred and seven foot.
moored boats on private moorings, which narrows the channel down even further. And this section here goes straight back into another narrow channel. We've got a bite to the wind, it's still cold north wind. Come on weather, when are you going to get better? I'm sick of being cold. It's like a 90 degree turn, yes. What's that? Barton Tunnel. Third tunnel of the day.
of us and then there's a boat coming the other way and um, the boat coming the other way his headlights so bright I can't actually see what's occurring If I haven't got to reverse all the way back out of here, that'd be a nightmare. There's nothing no, behind nothing me. Behind. Well, you get that was interesting. Have you? Yeah. Do not proceed if headlights on, on oncoming craft is visible. There is no time. No wonder he couldn't get by, he's got a massive great fender.